How's it, guys? Uh, we're with you again in your life groups, which is an awesome opportunity. Uh, this week in our, our life group, we're continuing, continuing with our Grow series. And the whole purpose of this week is to help each person in the, in the group find uh, what we're calling your motivational gift. And so there's different types of gifts, but a motivational gift is the way God has wired you, the way God's wired your heart, the way you see, see the world. And the awesome thing about this gift is it actually reflects something of the heart of God. So there's a whole bunch of these gifts, seven in total, and each one of them represents something different of the heart of God and reflects the heart of God in a different way. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 47, just explaining the three tiers or the three different types of giftings that there are. So Paul writes this, There are diversities of gifts but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. So what's evident from this text that we've just read is that Paul mentions three types of gifts. He mentions um, gifts, then he mentions activities, and he mentions ministry. Okay, And so each of these reflects something of the way we minister and we serve people. So the ministry gifts, in a sense, is like your heart. It's the way you see people and what motivates you to go and serve people. The ministry gifts are like the hands. It's what you practically do to minister to God's love to people. And the, the activities are like the wings. It's almost like superpowers. So that's like tongues and interpretation, words of knowledge, words of wisdom, faith, miracle, healing, that kind of stuff, which reflects the supernatural element of God in our lives. What we're going to focus on today in particular is the motivational gift, that first tier of gifting that Paul mentioned. And the motivational gift, as I said, is your heart. It reflects uh, your heart. is basically how you see people and how you see the world. It's an innate thing. You might not, e not even be aware that you're doing it. In fact, sometimes people are surprised that other people see the world so differently from them. But that's how God's wired you. And when you understand how God's wired you, it's a massively freeing experience. For me, um, I realize that I have a motivation gift of mercy. And so my most obvious uh, ministry gift is teaching. But the reality is, is that I never got that excited to teach. It's not like I woke up in the morning and said, man, today I'm get getting to teach. I'm so excited. But when I understood that my motivational gift, my heart that God's given me is a mercy gift designed to express God's compassion and love for people, all of a sudden I got more excited about teaching because a teaching is an opportunity to express God's heart and compassion for people God's mercy for people. And when I understood that, and I could leverage it into what I did on a daily basis, it made a massive difference to my heart, my passion for, for how I serve people with the love of God. On Sunday on your bulletins, you would have got on the back of your bulletin a bunch of questions on your chair. And as you read through those uh, seven different uh, questions, you would have realized that one of them would have resonated with you more than the other. Now, sometimes people think, man, I, I seem like two or even three of these. Um, but that's okay because you journey with these things as you discover each one of those motivational gifts. And so there's seven basic motivational gifts, which I'm going to explain to you briefly now. They come from Romans chapter 12, verse 4 to 8. And I'm going to read through that text and then explain a little bit about each one of those motivational gifts. Listen out for, as I read and explain, listen out for yourself and find out and, and think about which one you are. For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function, so we, being many, are one body in Christ, and individually members of one another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. Or ministry, let us use it in, in our ministering, or well, that's serving. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, and he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. So from that text, you can see that there's seven basic uh, categories in terms of the motivational gifts. And I'm going to explain, talk through each one of them, and listen out for yourself. So the first one is prophecy. And what people with this gift do is, is that they, they're really concerned about people's relationship with God. So they, they want to expose sin or wrong thinking and how people encounter God. The prophet kind of goes, if people have an encounter with God, then everything's going to be fine. The serving gift is really aimed at demonstrating in very practical ways God's love for people. And we, we know this. If, if you're hungry 
and someone gives you a, a good plate of food, that's awesome. If you're thirsty and someone gives you a cold drink of water, that's an amazing thing. And so it's a very practical ministry of the love of God. People with the teaching gift, they get excited about the truth. So they just go, man, if we get people to think right and understand God's word, then their lives are going to be completely different and they're going to have a great relationship with him. People with the gift of exhorting, which is kind of an old-fashioned word for encouragement, they want to encourage people. They're so excited to see people growing in their relationship with God that they just want to encourage people and inspire people and give people vision and motivate them. Grow in God, go after God. People with the gift of giving uh, understand that God has entrusted resources to us, financial resources, and those need to be stewarded well and can be used to bless people and push the kingdom of God forward. People with a gift of organizing, they like to bring order out of chaos. So they want to know what's happening. They delegate well. They analyze well. And these are a massive blessing wherever they are. And the last gift, which I've mentioned already because it's my own, is the gift of mercy. And this is used to express God's heart of compassion to people and often towards broken and hurt people. What would have happened as I explained those is one of them probably would have jumped out at you, or maybe two or three. But your life group leader has got some questions now that he's going to take you through together as a group. And why don't you start with this question? What was your reaction or what is your reaction to finding out what your motivational gift is or how God's wired you?